Welcome to Hirschfelden, the next reserve on our mission playthrough series. Each week, I'll be adding a new mission from this reserve until all of the story missions have been completed. The playthroughs will have commentary unless there is dialogue. Once we get through all the missions, I will put the entire story arc together without commentary, just like I have done with Leighton Lake and Silver Ridge Peaks. I'm sure there will be plenty of surprises like this mythical red deer, so be sure to tune in each week for a new episode. Now, without further ado, let's roll the intro. Hi, I heard you'd finally arrived. Welcome to Central Europe. I'm Connie, the Wildhüter of Hirschfelden, Reserve Warden, that is. I'm here to make sure that your time here will be unforgettable. Hirschfelden is one of the oldest hunting reserves in Europe, and we host a diverse population of the most popular big game for all hunting tastes. It's also the most beautiful place on Earth. No, I'm not biased at all. Go ahead and have a look around. I can't wait for you to experience all the beauty of Hirschfelden's fields and forests. Why don't you see if you can find an animal track nearby? So just like for Leighton Lake, this starting area will have a sacrificial doe, in this case a roe deer, followed by a visit to the nearby watchtower and outpost. Go ahead and get familiar with the area. I'll meet you over at the outpost. There. Use your binoculars to get a closer look. Be sure to aim for its vital organs. Hard and lung shots mean quicker kills, less painful. Gently now. Take a deep breath to steady your aim. If you want to get your bearings, there are lookout points spread out all over the reserve. Quite a view, isn't it? From here, you can see a lot of great hunting opportunities in the nearby area. Rattenfeld is a favorite region for a lot of hunters. The fallow deer is such a classic animal to hunt. But we also get a lot of history buffs here. To the south lies the Hirschdorf Hügelgrab, a grave mound dating back to the Bronze Age. Be sure to stop by one of the outposts. They're essentially base camps. Cozy, right? Outposts are great for stocking up or just taking a break. Reaching the outpost here should start the first mission. We'll get things started right after the dialogue. Hi there. I've got a bit of an unusual question. I hope you don't mind. I think I mentioned Gerlinda, right? Well, here's the thing. She's writing a book about fallow deer. Her second one, actually. She's got a small obsession for fallow deer. Anyhow, she's missing some pictures for her book and was looking for someone to help out. It's a bit specific. I remember hearing that you're quite the photographer yourself, so I thought I'd pass along her offer. She's looking for a picture of a fallow deer taken in Rattenfeld. She'll pay quite well for it, so it may be worth the effort. If you were looking to help out Gerlinda with that picture, you're in the right place. 
You're in Rattenfeld. Gerlinde is lovely, but here's a friendly tip. Don't ask her about fallow deer unless you mean it. She will not stop. It's beyond obsession at this point. On the other hand, there's no one better for hunting tips when it comes to fallows. Oh, and her venison stew is out of this world. Makes me hungry just thinking about it. Okay, so now finally we are on to the first mission called Jaeger, a picture for her book. You'll need to take a picture of a fallow deer, doesn't matter if it's a female or male variety. The easiest way to do this is to understand how need zones work in the game, especially feeding and drinking times specific for the fallow deer. Fallow deer like to feed between 5.30 and 9.30 in the morning, and this is a good time to catch them at any of the surrounding cornfields. So checking our map, we see there is one close by. So we'll go rest and set the time to early morning and head over to our waypoint to see if we can spot one. And just as expected, there are fallow deer feeding. Now we just need to sneak up to one close enough to snap a photo. You can get fairly close to one by crouching up to 150 yards. After that, you should crawl to avoid spooking them. Be mindful of wind direction as you don't want the wind at your back. This will carry your scent and spook your target. So once you get within 50 yards, take the picture and that will complete the mission. I just received the picture. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm sure Gerlinda will love this. Everything you see now is part of the reserve, but the land itself is actually privately owned by the Zommer family. The current head of the family is Robert Zommer, and he's very supportive of the hunting reserve. Well, as long as it doesn't get in his way. You see, the Zommel family business has an agricultural arm, which include the grain and corn fields spread throughout half of the reserve. Unfortunately, fallow deer love corn, and they've dug into the Petershain fields recently. Zommel usually turns to Gerlinda to keep the fallows off his fields, but she's been bogged down with the book lately. If you feel like hunting some fallow deer in Petershain, Zommel will make it worth your while. And that will do it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, and consider subscribing if you're not yet a member, so that you never miss a video. As always, thank you for your support, and see you next time.